Hi everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're making a juicy stuffed pork tenderloin. This recipe looks fancy, but it's actually an easy and inexpensive way to feed a crowd. Place a large oven safe skillet or Dutch oven over medium heat. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, then two slices of chopped bacon and cook until browned. Add one third cup of finely chopped onion and six ounces of thinly sliced mushrooms. Saute until the mushrooms and onions are softened, then season with half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth cup of chopped parsley, and one minced garlic clove. Cook another minute, stirring constantly, then remove it to a plate. That's all there is to the filling and it tastes and smells so good. And there's no need to wash the skillet because you'll still use it to sear the tenderloin. We're using a one and a half pound pork tenderloin and the first thing you want to do is to remove the silver skin. To do this, get your knife just under the silver skin, tilt the knife up towards the silver skin and slice all the way through. Repeat until most of the silver skin is gone. You have to remove it or it will be chewy and tough when cooked. Now cut a deep slit all the way down the center of your tenderloin, making sure not to cut all the way through. Open the tenderloin like a book, then cover with a sheet of plastic wrap and pound with the flat side of a meat mallet until it's one half inch thick. And if you don't have a meat mallet, there are other ways to flatten your meat. Some are better than others. All right, that looks like it's about a half inch thick and be careful not to tear all the way through your meat. Now spread your mushroom mixture evenly over the surface of the tenderloin, leaving about a half inch space at the borders. Roll up the tenderloin tightly to completely enclose the filling. Roll starting with the lawn end or hot dog style and secure the ends with six or seven toothpicks. Poke the toothpicks through in the same direction, keeping in mind you will be searing the tenderloin on a skillet and you'll need a flat surface. You don't want those toothpicks poking in all different directions. Now season the stuffed tenderloin all over with one teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now heat that same pan over medium heat with two tablespoons of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, place the tenderloin in the skillet, toothpicks side down, and sear for about two minutes per side or six to eight minutes total. Then transfer the skillet with the tenderloin to the oven and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 20 minutes or until the thickest portion of your meat, not the filling, reads 145 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Transfer it to a cutting board and let it rest. All right, it's been resting for 10 minutes and I am ready to eat this. It smells so good. <laughs> and I'm getting hungry, it's lunchtime. But before you go any further, you make sure to take out those toothpicks because that could be very unpleasant. <laughs> and it would be very difficult to slice. So they should slide right out. All right, and it's always a good idea when you put toothpicks into something to count how many you put in. So you take out the same amount. We don't want that mystery. <laughs> All right, and make sure you do not wash that pan because at the bottom of that pan, there are some amazing pan juices. And I glaze those over the top of my tenderloin because it makes it look like it's um, caramelized and there's so much flavor in there. Mm, look at that, look at the color, look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Kind of looks like it's glowing. <laughs> But enough talk, we're gonna do the taste test. I want you guys to see what's inside. That's the best part. Okay, and cut them to about a half inch thickness. I always thought that was the perfect serving size. And this pork tenderloin will feed about six people. And what I love about this is it's totally easy to double the recipe to feed a crowd. And pork tenderloin is so inexpensive, so it makes for a really juicy and flavorful, fancy looking, inexpensive dinner. Okay, here we go. And I love to garnish this with a little bit of parsley and the glaze holds it on. Just a nice pop of flavor and color because there's parsley inside. Okay, all right, now, <laughs> moment of truth. Okay, grab the big juicy one right here. Oh. <laughs> mm.
Mmm. 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 Mm. This is flavor packed. Mm. I love that I can taste the bacon in there. <laughs> Adds a nice salty bite to the filling. And then I love mushrooms. <laughs> this has my name written all over it. Wow, that is a scrumptious filling. It's kind of a nice surprise inside. It totally makes this look and taste super fancy, but it's so inexpensive and easy to make. No marinating required. If you guys like this video, give us a great big <laughs> thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Hey, before you go, if you are a meat lover like myself, check out some of our all-time favorite protein-packed recipes right over here and right down there. And click below to subscribe. And when you do, make sure you click that little bell icon and you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you next time.